Welcome back, y'all. Today we get to do something kind of fun. We get to do our very first ornament, and that is the slide. Sliding from one note up to the next. And it's a nice transitional ornament. It works great in slower tunes, but you can also use it in the faster jigs and reels, which we will get to down the road. First things first, how do you actually make the slide? How do you do it? Well, going from one note to the next, let's say in this case we're going from a D, the bottom note, to the E, the second note, like we were starting our D scale exercise that we got in the first episode, first video here. So rather than just going, we can slide from one to the next. So to do that, all you're doing is rolling off the bottom note. In this case, the note that we're playing is a D. So we're rolling this bottom finger up towards the top finger. You always want to go up. Going across the whistle doesn't really work as well. So you want to go up towards the top. And it works on pretty much any note. If you're going from a G to an A. Just sliding off from the bottom note. To the upper note. The new exercise that you're going to add to your regular practice routine is the same D scale but substituting that slide in for each note. So here's how we're going to do it. finish the scale in that second octave D, even though there's no way to slide from a C sharp to a D. To my ear, it's nice to finish the scale off. I also want to demonstrate a couple of spots in Dawning of the Day, the tune that we learned last week, where you might be able to work the slide in. So here's our basic melody. first phrase of the song Dawning of the Day. So, if we were going to work in a slide, just in that one phrase, that first two bars, however many bars it may be, there were three spots that we could work in a slide. Right off the bat, and then two in a row, sliding from the G to an A. So that's going to be your homework then, is figure out where in the rest of that song you can work in your new friend, your new slide ornament. Let me know how it's going. Let me know how it works in the comments. Any questions, feel free to drop those as well. Next week we're going to be talking about playing in different keys, specifically G major, and the relative minors, the ones that we've been working on so far. I'll see you then, guys. Cheers!